So I have a pretty bad memory. Things that happen to me tend to have a powerful immediate effect. I cry and laugh easily and get overly excited or overly embarrassed about things. I'm just pretty awful at retaining information. My lack of memory of historical events is pitiful. I can rewatch movies a year or two after first watching them as though I had never watched them before in the first place because I've completely forgotten the plot and the ending. Even philosophy, which I feel like I have a real interest in. I still always forget who believed what and who lived during what time period. Seriously guys, if we ever play Trivial Pursuit, you probably don't want me on your team. I read fast and I can usually pick up new skills fast, but I just as easily forget what I've read or what I've learned as I become immersed in something new. And so I went to the library and checked out Moonwalking with Einstein, The Art and Science of Remembering Everything. I've kept journals since I learned how to write and began making videos for fun or for school with my dad's old camcorder shortly after. Creating things and documenting my life has always felt supremely important to me. I wonder if my memory has never been that great and so even at a young age I felt like I needed these external sources to help me remember my thoughts and my feelings and my experiences. Or perhaps the reason why my memory isn't great now is because I have always had these external sources to hold my memories for me. Like once I wrote down my words or recorded my video, I felt like those memories were sufficiently unloaded and thus could be permanently deleted from my brain. So in Moonwalking with Einstein, Joshua Foyer talks about how in our society today, we don't even really need to remember much of anything. Our phones remember our friends' phone numbers for us. And the internet can basically reteach us any bit of information that we might have forgotten. But he also talks about how having people and places and things and events in our memory is directly connected to our creativity and our ability to come up with new ideas. I've talked before about how our ideas are made up of all the things that we've read and seen and experienced. But I didn't really think much about how important our memory of these things is. It doesn't matter how many things we see or read or experience if we don't remember any of it. I don't feel that moonwalking with Einstein has taught me the secret trick to remembering everything, but I do appreciate how it has gotten me thinking about memory in new ways. Like realizing that there are other ways to memorize things besides saying them over and over hoping to cram them into your brain. And how our brains are naturally better at memorizing visual imagery rather than lists of words or dates. So if we need to memorize a list of words or dates, we're likely to have a much easier time if we can somehow convert that list into visual imagery. I never liked history in school, and always had a hard time trying to remember dates and names of important people. I recently started watching through episodes of the television show Pawn Stars, which is about a pawn shop and the items that are bought and sold there. Just from this show, I feel like I'm getting a better sense of history and retaining more things about history than I did from lectures in high school because I am able to connect time periods and events to these experts that talk so passionately about these objects from those time periods and from those events and just the fact that there are the actual items that I can see. So do you think that you have a good or a bad memory? Do you think it really even matters whether or not we have good or bad memories anymore just because everything can